Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and I want to give you a quick tour of the Exam Pro system to give you an idea how it's going to help you uh, pass that AWS exam. Uh, so here I have access to the Solution Architect a Tech Associate. I'm just going to go in here and show you how our system works. So you have this readiness meter, and as you progress through your journey, you're going to collect stars, okay? And certain materials are going to have uh, more stars than others. So see, some have two and some have three. Um, and as you collect those stars and you approach this end, uh, that's when you know you are ready to go take your exam. So just to take a peek into a section that has uh, three stars here, um, you, generally you'll get a star for watching a video, doing the uh, small small quizlet that is on this particular material, and then uh, adding a flashcard to your deck. So if I was to watch this video here and near the end, if I get to it, you see I get a star awarded there. And then I have the uh, quiz, and so it's going to ask me some questions, okay? And so you just need to uh, progress through this here. And then you need your flashcards, okay? And so you're just going to reveal it, and that means you're going to now add these cards to your deck to practice for later. If you do have any questions, you can just go and ask a question here, and I'm very quick uh, um, to respond, okay? But yeah, so we have those uh, three stars. You can see uh, mostly we have um, uh, practice exams, or sorry, uh, quizzes on every single uh, material. Uh, for some of these, it's just not applicable. So like cheat sheets, we're not going to ask you flashcards um, and uh, little quizlets. But for all the lecture content, we definitely are going to. And there's, there's lecture content. And there's also follow-alongs, which are the more practical components. Okay, so now that we have an idea of like, how do we consume content on uh, exam pro, let's talk about how we're going to uh, memorize things long term. Uh, on the exams, there's definitely a factoidal information that's just hard to remember. And that's where the practice, uh, the practice deck is going to really help you out. So as you work through this journey, you're adding uh, decks, or sorry, uh, cards to your deck. And here I have 33, which are ready to study. Okay, so I click into that pra practice deck, and it's going to ask me um, that flashcard. So it says the two types of scaling. Um, scaling in, scaling out. Okay, and so it, this one's actually scaling up and scaling, uh, scaling out. Okay, and so uh, if if you could remember it or could not hardly remember it, you score yourself down below, and based on how you score this is going to determine um, when we're going to show you those cards uh, again, because the idea is to try to get that factoidal information into your long-term memory. We'll just do another one here, like the key value in document database solution for AWS. That's going to be DynamoDB, and I'm totally right, and so. I'm going to give it a three, so I got it with a little to no effort, uh, and so so yeah, that's the the flashcard system. Okay, that's going to help you with that factoidal information. And the last thing and the most important thing is the practice exams. Okay, so I can go here and I can take a new exam, and it's just like the actual um, exam. So here we have 65 questions, and we're going to work our way through it. So um, you know we have a question, and you make your choice. As you're working through this, you can uh, leave comments. I strongly recommend to leave comments uh, so that you can remember your inner thoughts of how you were thinking about this question because at the end of this, you're going to uh, see that comment, okay? So we have this question that says, a company has three tier web application which consists of a EC2 instance behind a classic load balancer, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm not really reading this through, but I'm just gonna leave a comment here saying like, uh, look into uh, what a CLB is, okay? All right, and so we've saved that comment for later, and we can also just flag this uh, for later here. I'm just gonna go answer a few here. Um, I'm not too worried about it, okay? And the great thing is that if you don't get through the whole exam, you can end it early. We only actually grade you like for real on the first exam, like the first attempt here. So if you end this exam here, okay, it's gonna say you failed, okay, we got zero out of 65, all right? And it's gonna show you the breakdown per section and even the uh, service here. And then you can review the questions, okay? And here I can see my notes, uh, which I have here, but you can see that we have full explanations for every single choice, okay? So, um, you know, what I find with a lot of other providers is that uh, they don't, they only provide you one explanation or if they do give you a breakdown, they just don't go into detail. So we're extremely thorough about that on all of our exam questions, okay? So, I mean, that is the practice exam, but uh, just to show you a little bit more with it, when you um, when you take practice exams, uh, the, it doesn't matter if you fail, okay? So like see in this attempt here on October 1st, um, the attempt was 40%, okay? And so this one's marked as failed, but what we always want you to do is want you to get 100% um, on, a, on your attempts before you move on to the next one. So we have these ones here, I'm just gonna delete them because 
they weren't serious attempts. But the idea here is that what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get 100% on the questions that you failed on before taking another exam because it's going to give you different questions when you uh, take another one here. But if we wanted to go master it, and now we're only doing 27, the remainder of ones we got wrong, okay? So now we just have to worry about these ones and there's no timer here, okay? So what you can do is you can go through here and answer these, all right? And uh, let's say you only get up to five and you gotta go uh, to work or something else, you can end the exam and it's not gonna score you on the ones that you don't do because again, it only scores you on your first attempt because it's trying to uh, treat it like a serious exam. And then afterwards, it's just more about uh, making sure that you can get the answers uh, right uh, from there on, okay? And so now if I uh, go back to the exam, uh, the uh, console here, okay, you can see that I'm slowly progressing to get 100%, right? And so it says here that there's 23 that I left blank, okay? But out of, out of the four that I did, two of them were right, okay? And so that's us working to 100% mastery. So once you've mastered it, then you take another practice exam, okay? So, you know, that is the exam pro system in a nutshell. And, and if you do get up to like, I think it's like 80%, we do issue a certificate of completion. Now that isn't the real uh, certificate that you're looking for. The real one, you'll have to go uh, pay and sit at a exam center or take online such as CCP, which you now can take from the convenience of your own home. But that's a general walkthrough of our uh, system there.